welcome to Inside Gyros. This is video number two of the test slides for the AG915 Javelin powered by the Rotax 915. This video is, um, is part of the, the flight we did for the testing the critical components rotor maximum G loads and rotor RPM so the, um, the sequence that you are about to see uh, meanwhile we do the pre-rotation this is what is happening the pre-rotation um, so the sequence, this sequence that you are about to see is touch and goes, touch and goes, going around in the runway. So we just take off, maintain a pattern, maintain kind of a, you know, like this shape circle around, we touch and we go. But because we need to te test the, um, the critical components of the aircraft, we, um, we, I perform some, uh, some, some maneuvers, some, some maneuvers around. normal takeoff we make the saucer remember uh, the behavior of the rotor when it's spinning is a saucer that is, is uh, I've been testing this uh, this concept and so you can understand and when you're learning it's easy for you to understand when you're when it's a saucer when it's a big umbrella it is not and it's not the rotor who is making the propulsion also like in the helicopter so you need to keep the balance right so the um, the first part of the video is the normal takeoff. Uh, these in this particular video, the um, the machine was heavy. Uh, there was a lot of uh, sandbags around. We were trying to achieve uh, maximum loads. So to achieve maximum loads without without overloading the machine, right? Without just putting more weight that there is the, the minimum for take or the maximum for takeoff, right? Uh, I perform a series of maneuvers, so increasing my CG with inertia, right? So I'm using Newton's law to increase my weight, to increase the weight of the aircraft with the force on the turns. So initially what I was trying to do in the video, I'm, I'm just following the video here, you're seeing the video right here, I'm just mastering the, the green screen right now, so bear with me. Um, the the initial part is to understand the trims right the, the the up the down we have two axes because the rest is done by gravity we can put four axes there is gyrocopter with four axes um, but in this case we have only two axes to keep it stable uh, this is the first uh, certification we're getting uh, so this is the first uh, introduction this is this is the um, configuration we are using for the first part of the certification that we are completing for uh, to complete a type certificate right that's what we're achieving with the, with the AG915 Javelin if you're watching this video in um, in the, after 2023 uh, well yeah we will be we will have certificate if you're watching the video before the end of the 2023 well, we're still working on it. The, the kits that we are distributing for the United States are using the same principles, but based in a kit, and we can talk about that later in another video. Uh, we didn't post much. Um, on the on social media in the last two years because we were completely focused on the certification of the aircraft right now we complete all the procedures right a, the next part of these certifications is papers changing accommodating but everything regarding the type certificate of the AG915 Javelin is done so we are just in this process again if you're watching this video in the future hey in the future um, contact us the machine will be certified at that time for sure we just finished and that's because we're posting the videos later not in the moment of the certification um, this is part of the educational program that we are now i am trying to to develop 
So there you go. Yeah, I don't know, it will look weird. <laughs> I hope it doesn't look weird, honestly speaking. Because I was holding the, the, the other control, right? The, um, the control in the, the, for, for the passenger or for the co-pilot. Um, these controls are uh, disattached. You can disattach the control. And the attachment point that where you put the control sometimes get play. And that play is annoying for the pilot because you're losing a lot of, of the grip, uh, a lot of, of the input that, that you're putting, right? So, all right. First landing, normal landing, normal takeoff. I keep playing with the with, with with the control, making sure that it's stable. There is a there is a heavy weight in the back. We we, we put a lot of weight in the back and in the, as a ballast just to maintain it as, as flat as it is with my with uh, as, as flat. You know the, the heavy weight as flat and lower as we can, so we can increase that loading that we're trying to achieve. And here we go. I will start doing some steep turns. This is steep turns to, to, to see what is the reaction of the rotor. These uh, flying saucer rotors, these rotors that we are introducing right now, um, they have a lot of features to increase safety, to increase performance, to increase the dynamics. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a very revolutionary technology and um, and yeah, this is, this is part of the saucer that we are trying to explain. So this video, as, I, as, as, as you will see and you can see it, is me turning and using the inertia of the turn, right? To increase the weight, that force, that gravity force that we need. So increasing the gravity force, start increasing the power and, and increase the power that you are giving to the saucer, right? So you are and then start spinning faster. So all of these numbers, all of these uh, small parts is exactly what we were looking for, right? So in, um, in this particular video, the, um, the idea was to increase the loading and to have as much loading as, 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 we, as, as, I, as I can with the maneuvers. So it was a scaffold touch and goes. But I, I remember, I don't know if it was already it happened, the, in, the, in, the, in the overhead panel, when right now we have located many of the electrical part of the, uh, of the electrical switches, of the AG915 Javelin. Uh, I remember that that day, and it's in the video, and it was a little bit like dangling. And honestly speaking, when you're doing a test flight and you have these kind of noises, it's, 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 it's horrible. So I'm, I'm pretty sure you saw it, and I, I, I wanted to just address that part so you will understand. It was a washer. It was a washer that it was so I just, I, I feel it, and it's okay. It's not, it's not any structure, structural, a part of the of, of the of, of the machine is not a component. So anyway, uh, that that was what I was doing. Trying to maintain it as low as I can. So I was actually flying in a kind of uh, loop, trying to, to to keep it as much uh, as, as much loaded as I can. Uh, again, the machine was fully loaded with sandbags, everything in the floor as low as we can from uh, as far from from the CG point. So we just get this nice stretch uh, to test the the mast, all the components in the mast in the pocket, right? And the rotor, the bearing, 
remember these flying saucers these things are they're rotating on a free bearing there is no power the po I'm, I'm, I'm using the gravity to generate that power all right so this is exactly the limit so i'm just trying to reach the limits do not do this at home remember so i was trying to reach those limits in in in, in this particular flight we did many flights getting everything with the standards of safety and uh, for the next year the right certification to operate and to do all the things that we're planning to do with the flying saucers so yeah um, that's what we were doing I was flying again in a, um, in, in a loop, so the, the descent to go to the runway, the, this moment when I'm going to the runway, I'm just trying to achieve as much energy, touch the runway, see how much power is, is, is transferring to the, to, from the mass to the rotor with the hit, and then, yes, and then you start, you know, this is the, the fun, when you, when you oscillate, two or three oscillations to get the maximum the maximum rpm that you can achieve with this kind of configuration i i, I remember my hands were, were were really tired i mean cutting the engine feeling and coming back as much as I can with power and returning to the straight and level and see the dissipation of the energy that I'm transferring to the saucer. So left and right, turning, putting power, removing power, that's exactly what is, 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 happening, is happening here. Don't do this at home. Don't do this at home. Remember, I mean, I, I, I have enough training to do this. Um, testing the machine requires a little bit more knowledge and a little bit more discipline and one of the things that I want to mention in this video is uh, the protocols of the builder's assistance are completely new, they're changed. Uh, check our website, send us an email for more information. Um, Building the machine should be an adventure and it should be something interesting in your life and it's a game changer literally in your life if you you're building a machine that your first vehicle that flies so it's like we're living in the future you're building a vehicle that you can fly for for your mobility and for many others uh, for many other things so this is part of a um, learning process that we are achieving in this in, in, in all these years so the builder's assistance change change a lot right now so send us an email if you want more information and we can answer it uh, in, in our dealer in the united states our main dealer in the united states right now Going in the final, putting some power and avoiding the touching in this moment. I was getting very good RPMs, 
So you see, I'm just struggling to get as much as much on the machine as it's difficult because this, this testing is very empirical, right? We need to put our skin in the game and do, and do the right things and do it without, I'm not saying, but just doing it. That takes time and a lot of money and that's, that's exactly that we, what we've been doing in the last two years, that, what, I was, what I was doing in the last two years, developing, redesigning and redefining uh, the chassis of this vehicle, the, the, the first flying saucer, the AG915 Javelin. Again, some, sometimes uh, you can see some vibration. Um, the, uh, actually, in the audio, the video, I'm gonna try to put it right now a little bit high. You can hear a small I'm gonna give you with the original audio right now. That's the little washer that was on the top. So yeah, it was a, it was a, so, uh, you, it was very expensive all of these things with the uh, trying to do it in the middle of a pandemic it was very difficult so we actually achieved an amazing development and amazing uh, um, progress on understanding the machine and understanding all the little details of this model the first concept was a good concept but it was far from finish it was far from finish it was just a mock-up that can fly Right? Um, these last two years, the AG915 Javelin, the, the final product, have literally, literally passed to many, many, many modifications, even removing the wings. You're still in the video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to, a small thanks to Revista Aeroermo in Colombia. Muchas gracias. They've been sponsoring all the research in the asking people about gyrocopters and, and, and helping us around gathering information about the marketing. So thanks so much, Aero Hermo in Colombia to Irving. Uh, yeah, man, thanks so much. Check the link. I'm going to put it in the description. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate that you just go through this this, this flight, the, 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 the final landing and everything. Uh, it's, it's, it's not really exciting. I wanted to just give you some small details of the process, the two years process and the fact that we, we were not doing videos and not doing this is because we were focused and it was a difficult times, but things are better. We're back. Uh, Send us an email, check the QR codes. Um, thanks for watching, fly safe, and don't do this at home.